So Ohio State opened Big Ten play with their 17th consecutive regular season conference victory in dominating a fashion. As Urban Meyer afterwards saw what he liked to see out of the Buckeyes. Ever since the Virginia Tech game, we're getting that bare zero coverage. And, uh, you know, you're seeing receivers and quarterbacks start to get kind of excited when they see that, as opposed to the other. You know, and then same with the coaching staff. You see it and you're like, great, do it. And you see us taking shot, some more aggressive uh, calls. I don't feel like I have too many toys. Uh, I'm going to play with all of them, too. So, uh, <laughs> nah, it doesn't feel like that. But definitely good uh, people to just get it out of my hands and let them do what they do. So, uh, that's how I feel about that. Mike Miller, our Buckeye Insider, joins me now. And, Mike, certainly this is what, for the second week in a row, it's what we've ex been expecting out of the Ohio State team from week one, and we're seeing the results on the field. Yeah, it's an offense, certainly, Mark, that is that is coming through at almost every level you can think of. They're running the ball effectively, throwing it when necessary on, on longer down situations, and utilizing really all the weapons, uh, the uh, running backs out of the backfield, the receivers either deep or short range, and, and the quarterback, J.T. Parrott, is the go-to man, showing extreme confidence and now five games in, might be the best quarterback around. Defensively, certainly saw some improvement this week. Maryland did get their points, but Ohio State really impressive, particularly getting pressure on the quarterbacks and also forcing turnovers. Yeah, two key areas most certainly. Whenever you can uh, hurry uh, the opposition quarterback, it changes a whole lot of things, uh, denying Maryland much ability to run the ball at all, although that's not really their makeup, and forcing turnovers are complete game changers, and the Ohio State Buckeyes did it on Saturday in Maryland with some big interceptions that led directly to points on every occasion. All right, thank you very much, Mike. That's going to wrap it, us, wrap it up for us today at College Park as Ohio State does get the victory and perhaps an inopportune time they have next week off. Let's send it back to the studio.